fade in. Hello, I'm Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are at Force of I Entertainment. Well, we, uh, Justin is lost, or Justin from Justin is lost. He brought something to That's our his attention. That's name. It's yeah. Justin is lost. <laughs> he brought something to our attention that I wanted to cover because you, everyone knows who's watched this channel that we are big Gina Carano supporters and believe, as a lot of people do, that her firing was politically motivated and unjust considering... Hashtag Gina Carano did nothing wrong. She didn't do anything wrong. And people, it was nonsensical. It was a terrible business move and it's created a huge divide in the fandom, further divide in the fandom in Star Wars. And it's just been a big mess. But, but anyways, Joe Rogan, who of course is one of the biggest podcasts I'd say around has been kind of silent on the subject, which I find interesting and we'll address later. I did too. Yeah. <laughs> but he finally, uh, he finally actually went into detail and begins to defend Gina Carano and how she was fired basically unjustly. And he even kind of explains her tweet, reads it on, on the tweet that got her fired. He reads it on the, the show and kind of explains, yeah, I get what she was trying yeah. to say here. Uh, if and you know, you know, yeah, so I want us to pull up just what he kind of has to say about Gina really quickly. So let's watch what he has to say and we'll we'll discuss it. So here is Joe. When you're you're talking about something that's contemporary, when you talk about something that's going on right now, because Oh, and here he said how it's it's never good how things in print can be misinterpreted. It's so easy to take it kind of however you want to. It's it's so open to interpretation. Yes. So many people can form the like, I don't like what, how you said this because I think she meant this or I think she meant that. The best way to express something like that, ironically, is like this in a conversation. And that is totally true yeah. because things in print, if it's controversial at all, you can't read. You don't know what the person was trying to get across. Or, or literally, in this case, hear the tone of, yes, <laughs> you know. of what is trying to be expressed. Yes. She was talking to someone. And she was saying there was context. Like if she was having this conversation with us and she was saying, you know, in Nazi Germany, they got their neighbors to hate them first. Right. And think about how they're getting neighbors to hate people now for being yes. conservative. But again, when it comes to something like. And in fact, in her tweet, she never even specifies conservative or not. It's just right. a general thing about not hating the other for political reasons. The Disney Channel or this or, you know. When it comes to her getting fired, they're probably looking for a way to get rid of her anyway. Absolutely. Yeah. Already yep. saying so they want to get rid of her. Shit. And I yeah, absolutely. I mean, they they were we know that. We absolutely know that they were looking to get rid of Gina Carano and had been searching. In fact, they had removed her from being able to represent the Mandalorian before it aired because of tweets and the Twitter mob that had came after her. And and, and something that <laughs> I don't mean to be insensitive, but it really does kind of make me laugh. Like I would see people on Twitter. Uh, this this one person in particular did a post about like before she came on that I guess she was going to appear on the next episode, and so it was kind of like a trigger warning for people. She, you know, <laughs> she was so sorry for the pain they were going to experience if they. <laughs> and it's just it's bizarre. But the bottom line is what Rogan gets at, and that's kind of what she was saying. Yeah, and this, what this mindset. What Rogan gets at too, if you go back and watch before that, uh, he and I'll, I'll put in the description where you can find the the time frame on this this episode of Joe Rogan because he goes into it's it's a probably about two or three minute section clip that he yeah. talks about the Gina situation, but he refers to her again as as a nice lady, a nice person. And mentions, you know, how she was kind of a trailblazer in the world of fighting. So he he really does defend her. And you yeah. can tell that he thinks it's absolutely ridiculous, as we all do, that she was fired. And what he said there, and that's why I wanted you to hear that, it's absolutely true that they were looking, by the time in February they fired her, they were looking oh, for reasons they were just like, to like, fire just, her. Just give us one reason, you know? Yes. And, and he says, you know, how the whole... Anytime things are compared to Germany at that time, it's a minefield. And that's totally, it, totally true. Totally fair. But yeah. then uh, Tim Dillon points out rightfully, but for the last four years, they've been able to call Trump supporters and Trump that all they want. So maybe we've become a little desensitized as yeah. a culture. And, and the point in that is, again, going back to the Gina thing, is her co-star literally made a comparison about all Trump supporters to 
uh, Germany at that time, that time period. So it just kind of shows again, the hypocrisy and good for Joe Rogan to finally say something. Yeah. And I will kind of say that because Rogan is in the past has been so good about being on the forefront of not caring what people uh, think about the things he says. So yeah. I actually, it's kind of like a, uh, uh, Joe, we're just now getting to Gina in July. Uh, where were we in February? <laughs> right. It, it kind of seems a little interesting that he's just now feeling the nerve, I guess, to address the situation. It is strange the, because you'd think that was kind of like hot news at the time. Yeah. Just like it would come up in conversation with a lot of the guests he has on. Yeah, it kind of leads back to the, I think the feeling a lot of us have felt that when he signed on with Spotify, he kind of censored himself for a time. And he seems to be coming out of that a little yeah. bit, which I appreciate. I mean, he's he's getting more comfortable with like what he can and can't say. Yeah, but but you know, regardless, I, I'm glad he, he eventually has come out in support of Gina Carano because anyone with a with a functioning brain should realize that the firing of Gina Carano was politically charged and was unjust, was uncalled for when you look at what Pedro Pascal's tweets were and he's not fired and he shouldn't have been fired. And once again, I think I've said this before, this is not like my most merciful statement, uh, but if you can't see that it was politically motivated and for stupid reasons, then I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you at this point. Yeah. So. It's just that's that. That's all I have to say about that. Yeah, it's a lot. And he is right that I think for, you know, more kind of controversial things, Twitter and Instagram, not a great place to put it, but you shouldn't be punished for it either. And people should realize that, that maybe we should get context. Maybe I should, if I'm Disney, call her and say, what did you mean by this before you just hit the fire button? Uh, and and cause the the fan backlash that you're now getting, and rightfully so, for your for your nonsensical move that you made. Um, so yeah, that that's it. But yeah, c congrats, I guess, for Joe finally coming out finally and in, into July. I'm glad he at least, I guess, better late than never. Uh, with as Joe. I always say, yes. But as time goes on, I believe you're just going to hear more and more voices bring up Gina Carano and say that was wrong. And I think you know Joe coming out at finally. You're just, you're just going to see more and more of that, I believe. Well, because I think she was such a big case of they sort of made an example of totally, her. Totally. Totally made an example out of her. Not only, I think, to, uh, you know, other actors and people in the entertainment industry, but community at large. Yes. You know, yes. This is this is what you're looked at. Yeah. It was like it was like uh, like shots fired in the to the degree of kind of like everyone know your place in Hollywood and don't speak out if you're not speaking what we want you to be speaking is kind of, it was totally used as an example, but, but yeah, that, that's kind of it. Go, again, good for Joe, better late than never. We appreciate you. Joe. <laughs> yeah. We appreciate you finally stepping up and saying something. And in fact, I feel like he should have her on his show and I, let her give her side of the story. I don't know why she, maybe she has been invited. It's not like we know, you no. know, but, you just kind of think he would. That would be a mega podcast that everybody watches. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a fantastic. And plus they, they have the fighting connection and everything. It's, right. it's a match made in heaven for yeah. a conversation. So maybe one day Joe will have her on. We'll have to see. But anyways, that is it for this video A Force of Eye Entertainment. If you have not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to be a force of light. All right. Bye, bye guys. Bye.